Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into the rich and fascinating culture of the Mercy people, a unique tribe from the Omo Valley in southern Ethiopia. From their iconic lip plates to their deep-rooted traditions, there's so much to explore. So, let's get started. The Mercy people are one of the most well-known indigenous tribes in Ethiopia. They live in the remote Omo Valley, a region renowned for its cultural diversity. With a population of around 10,000, the Mercy are primarily agropastoralists, meaning they rely on both farming and livestock for their livelihood. Their way of life has remained relatively unchanged for centuries, despite the growing pressures of modern society. One of the most striking and recognizable features of Mercy culture is the use of lip plates, especially among women. Starting around the age of 15 or 16, young girls undergo a ritual where their lower lip is pierced, and over time, it is stretched to fit a clay or wooden disc, known as a debia tugoin. The size of the plate can vary, but for the Mercy, it's not just an aesthetic choice. It's a symbol of social status, beauty, and identity. The larger the plate, the greater the woman's perceived value and readiness for marriage. It's an ancient tradition that has sparked curiosity and even controversy among outsiders. But for the Mercy, it is a deep part of their heritage. Mercy men and women traditionally wear very little clothing due to the hot climate of the Omo Valley. They typically wrap themselves in cloth or animal hides, and body art plays a significant role in their appearance. Men often paint their bodies with white clay designs, especially before ceremonies or rituals. Another distinctive feature is their use of scarification. Both men and women create elaborate patterns on their skin, which are made by cutting the skin and rubbing ash or charcoal into the wounds. These scars are symbols of strength, beauty, and personal identity. Despite being a small community, the Mercy people have a structured society. Leadership is often determined by age and experience. Elders, called Kamaru, hold the most authority and guide the tribe in decision-making and conflicts. Men are primarily responsible for protecting the tribe and herding cattle, which are a central part of Mercy life. Cattle symbolize wealth and social status and are often used in rituals, such as dowries and marriage negotiations. Women, on the other hand, take care of the household, including raising children and preparing food. While the Mercy have maintained their traditional way of life, they are facing significant challenges. The expansion of national parks, tourism, and government resettlement programs have impacted their land and livelihood. Additionally, climate change and environmental degradation have made farming and herding increasingly difficult. Tourism brings both positive and negative impacts. While it provides a source of income for some Mercy families, it also exposes them to outside influences, which may threaten their traditional customs. Finding a balance between preserving their heritage and adapting to a changing world is one of the biggest challenges they face today. The Mercy people are a resilient and proud community with a culture that has stood the test of time. Their unique traditions, from lip plates to body art, offer us a glimpse into a world so different from our own, yet incredibly rich in meaning and history. As we learn more about indigenous tribes like the Mercy, it's important to respect their way of life and support efforts to protect their land and culture. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments what culture you'd like me to explore next. Until next time.